I get the comment all the time, can't you print anything else besides those masks? There are just things I like to do that annoy people. I can listen to a song over and over again for weeks and months, and I still can't memorize the lyrics. So if I sing the song and I can't do the lyrics, people get mad, they get triggered. I really like sculpting these masks, and I actually can finish it. Notice all the scratches on this one. I'm spraying a clear coat of matte enamel finish. After spraying the front, I turn it around and spray the back, give it an even coat. When it's wet, it's very shiny. For the clear mask, I'm going to use a shiny crystal clear enamel. It looks very dirty and scratched up. But once I spray down this coat, it brings everything together. In total, I give it about 4 coats. This one is one of my favorite designs. It feels very triangular and sharp. So pretty much, I kind of stumbled into this niche of making masks. Especially 3D sculpting them and 3D printing them. Not a lot of people are doing it, so my accounts just blew up. I just made a store surrounding this whole idea of Oni Mask. And then with the profits, I just keep reinvesting into more materials and trying to make it cooler and better and experiment. This is Chameleon Resin Powder, and it looks amazing when it printed. I cannot believe it worked. I'm not going to gatekeep anything. I really, really did not plan anything on how to make this into a living, but it became one. The main objective and focus is to have fun with this process, to challenge myself, and to get better at mixing things. And then on the way, you pick up different skills and you mix these different skills and ideas together. Happy accidents like this cool color change is so sick. I didn't plan that. That happened by accident. There's a quote that I heard from Alan Watts a long time ago. Isn't adulthood supposed to be getting paid to play around? And the left side of my brain is always thinking about how ridiculous that sounds and how, uh, how like, you know, unconventional that is. My right side of my brain grabbed onto that so hard and turned that into a belief. The neon green to amber glass brown just blows my mind. I also heard someone else talk about how we're always taking breaths and we're always breathing and it's automatic. But the things that we create and see and do that takes our breaths away is the things that we should count. Look for the things that really do take your breath away. Being present in the things you make in your craft, it will make you more apt to looking at things from different perspectives and really look for those things that really take your breath away. With every art project, for me, with every mask that I create, I start to trust my intuition a little bit more and more. Pretty soon, your whole day, your whole mind, every interaction that you do will pretty much be based on your intuitions and is such a wonderful place to live. Because of this activity of creating these masks, I found a way to live while experiencing so many serendipitous moments.